All right, what's going on guys? Migo here from Too Much Gaming and today we're gonna to be taking a look at something different. We got this in the packaging, in the mail, in the mail packaging. It's a huge box sent over by the folks at greattoysonline.com. You should check them out. They're one of the best stores to get your, you know, like anime merch, your video game, action figures and all that. And they, they were nice enough to reach out to us and provide us a package to check out and boy oh boy it's it's a huge box like sure it says soul of Jagoden and combatler v but that is not the content of this that is not what's inside uh we have a little checklist of what to expect actually and um i'll just assume that this isn't all of it because this box is absolutely gigantic and it feels pretty packed to the brim all right so special shout out to greattoysonline.com again to check them out, you can visit their website at aforementioned greattoysonline.com or facebook.com slash greattoysonline. And oh, oh man. This is a bit different usually than what we do here. But as a figure collector myself, be careful with knives, kids. I was really excited to hear that we would be working with them. And oh boy, let's see what's inside. Let's just get a nice clean cut on the box Ooh. I don't want to I want to damage nothing oh okay that seems good all right let's see what's inside oh my goodness oh, it really is packed to the brim holy moly all right let's what's the list have to say you have a unicorn Gundam a wing Gundam a cute posket suicide squad Joker I don't know what that is I guess that's a serial number um BNP Cho Senshi Sun Gohan B. Uh, I guess that's a, maybe an alternate color set. EXQ Fate Go Lancer Medusa Nezco Cable Bites and GM Type C Version Anime. Now, didn't mention what line, but um, oh my gosh, <laughs> like this is this is uh, okay. We we seem to have some loose runners. I don't know if you can see that. Um, uh, forgive me, forgive the glare. I'm trying my best. I don't have a... This box is just too big for my usual, like, um, unboxing setup and whatnot. These look like, um... Well, the, there you go. Dragon Ball. So I'm guessing these are part of that, um, short line where they're consisted of, of vehicles. And I was under the impression that those were actually just single-colored. We have some multiple-colored runners here, so that looks really nice. Um, I think it was called the Mecha Collection line. And oh boy, is this looks familiar. I believe this is the... Well, it's clearly a Son Goku. Um, yeah, there you go. Figure I standard. The Dragon Ball model kit of um, base Goku. Because you can see his hair and oh my gosh. Whoa. That is neat. we got some... It's not Gunpla because it's not, it's not Gundam, but it's made by the same folks. And what are these? Ooh, I guess these are the Cable Bites. Yes, 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 yes. From Kimetsu no Yaiba, we got some cable bites of Nezuko-chan. We also got a Zenitsu, the Thunder Boy, the Lightning Man, and what, what's this dude's name? Inosuke, the pretty aggro pig man. So that's super neat. Can't wait to check this out. Whoa, you can you can like see a little preview of what they do there. All right, let's put them back in their little baggies. Oh man, this is a lot of stuff. Hold on. All right. Get these sorted to the side where no one can see. Um, gosh, all right. Uh, what is this? A posed skeleton of a Tyrannosaurus. Oh my, I didn't even know these existed. Holy moly. That is cool. A posed skeleton is a really nice, like, articulated line of mini, like, as the names would suggest, skeleton action figures. That's cool. Oh, we seem to have another one. This one is a post skeleton of a gorilla by Remint. That is the brand. Oh, yo. see, this is what they normally look like. And there's a dog and a gorilla. And dude, like this looks pretty hype. All right. Kind of a big fan. Oh, sorry. My, my microphone is hitting the, the edge of the box. Okay, here's the GM Type C version anime, Robot Damashi. Um, I'm guessing this is one of the newer ones. I don't know what year this came out. But this new type of closed window is pretty classy. 
you can see that well enough. A little Tamashii Nation seal of quality. We got the blue Bandai logo, which means it at least would have come out within like the last two years or so. I think 2018 is when they did the, the blue tag to show that it's for collectors. Speaking of blue tags, here we go. Gundam Universe! Um, RX-0 RX Unicorn Gundam in destroy mode. GU-03. I think this was part of the first wave. Oh right, because the first one was RX-78 and the Wing TV anime version. Yo, I can't wait. This looks super exciting. And here's the other one. The Wing Gundam. Super neat. We got this little, like, Bandai Philippines logo. Whoa. Super official. Official distributor. Dang, that's neat. Okay, here's the Q Poscap Joker from Suicide Squad. He's, he's got the damage and all that. He does look really neat. And I'm one of the few people who actually like the concept of having the, the mouth tattoo to do, like, a little smile. I mean, you know, the, the movie itself isn't nothing to write home about, but I'd say that at least some of the design is uh, unique and interesting. And this gigantic thing, EXQ figure, Fate Grand Order, Band Presto, and Bandai of... Was it... Um, I can't... Wait. It was Medusa, right? Lancer, Medusa... Whoa, is that a spoiler for what? And she has a lance over there and the scythe. Yo, this is neat. Maybe I should get on that Freight Grand Order. I heard the, the mobile gacha is something. Whoa! Atomic's first car museum. Um, JR Limited Express Narita Express Train. Yo! I wonder if this is like made of die cast. I'd assume so. That is cool, like... We don't really have, like, you know, a lot of trains to go by here, aside from, like, the MRT and LRT, but hey, this is neat. I hope it comes with, like, tracks to give it a display. And here's that Gohan B. I wonder, oh, does it, does it come with both of them? Like, Teen Gohan and Adult... Oh, I think it's just Teen Gohan, right? Because otherwise, like, the other three sides would show the Adult Gohan. Plus, I don't think they could fit both in here, but... Hey, that's super neat! He's doing that kick... Um, I forget what frame... Like, th this is like a reference to what he does in the anime. And it's also uh, part of his attacks in some of the video games. If you play the Fighter Z, I believe that's his standing heavy attack. Big fan. One of my mains, actually. That worked out super well. Oh, we got some... Got some paperwork goodies. We got some Bandai promotional books. SIC, Super Imaginative... Super imaginative Coliseum, what is my words? I, I know that um, they make SIC versions of Kamen Rider figures, which is nice, which gives them like a hyper-realistic look. And oh boy, Imagination Works on Goku, I have seen photos of this guy. That is super cool. Um, I don't know if it comes with both the Super Saiyan and non-Super Saiyan, but it looks to have... Um, I, don't th I don't think this is clothing, uh, like fabric, but because of like all the segments, but oh, it's the crotch, I'm sorry. Um, this looks like a highly articulated figure, and I believe the like the elbow joints are actually, yeah, yeah, they are. They are like closed, uh, much like a Hot Toys in a super suit. Like if you got a Hot Toys Spider-Man or something, like, look at that. It creases like some sort of rubber, which looks nice. Um, as for the lack of fabric on the, the pants, I don't know what, why, but as far as articulation goes, this thing is super, like, crazy looking. And also, it's co it costs 11,000 yen. There you go. That's neat. We got two of these. Two of these little promo uh, books. And Accused Posket Friends, Olivia's Diary. I should look into this. I don't know what the Q Posket line is about. I'm guessing these are other characters from it. Nice to meet you, my diary. I was so no okay. This 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 is a lot. <laughs> okay, super neat. So yeah, um, I don't know if I can get everything in shot, but we got this super huge package from Great Toys Online. Um, I know this isn't exactly gaming related, but as a 
Well, uh, a content creator and a toy collector myself, actually. This is super neat. Um, my history with purchasing things from Great Toys spans pretty much my entire uh, toy collecting career. And I'm super excited to hear that we'd be working with them. And at the very least, you know, I, I believe this Gundam Universe line has a promo with the video game Gundam uh, Operation... Was it? Operation Battle? On the PS4. So we'll see if it applies to their first wave. But yeah, look at all this stuff, dude. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh, we're gonna do like individual videos, I guess, of all of these things. But man, this is a lot. Um, Jesus, the stuff is falling down. <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, yeah, like the, the kits too. Oh my gosh. Yeah, so if you want to catch when these videos come out, don't forget to comment, subscribe, more importantly subscribe, hit that bell notification to know when exactly these videos go up. And I've been Migoy, thanks for checking this unboxing out. Don't forget, like I said, to check out greattoysonline.com and facebook.com slash greattoysonline to get yourself any of these items if you wish to do so, because I can confirm that they are all indeed very cool. That's been it for this video, guys. We'll see you next time. I'm peacing out. Bye. Have a great day. 